Hello everyone and welcome to the RV Inspection and Care channel. I'm Duane and I'm a certified RV inspector. And today we're going to be talking about Class C manufacturers or brands and which ones are considered generally to be the best in quality. Now this video is actually one in a series of videos I'm making on manufacturers or brands and so we're going to cover class A, class B, class C for motorhomes and then for towables are you know the uh, fifth wheels and travel trailers as well. So I'll put the links to those videos down in the description below and that way if you're considering buying other than just a class C like we're going to talk about today then you can take a look at my recommended list of manufacturers from those other categories as well. Now, the other thing is that when we're talking about motorhomes, well, there are three categories, Class A, B, and C, but honestly, most people are comparing Class A's to Class C's, and that's because the Class B is kind of in a whole class of its own, you know? It's much smaller than A's and C's. So the comparisons usually come in between A's and C's. And if that's something you'd like to know a little bit more about, well, I made a video on that subject uh, comparing those two classes head on. And I'll put the link to that video down here on the video itself and then in the description below. And you can go watch that video if you think it would be helpful for you. But now when we're talking about this whole subject about brands and manufacturers, got to admit, number one, right off the bat, say, it's all opinions. Uh, there's no way to test this. It's just uh, opinions that people have. And this list is just my opinion. And you may not agree with it at all. And you know what? I'm not going to be offended by that. That's fine. Everybody can have their own opinion. Let me just explain where my opinions come from. There's a few things that sort of uh, base my opinions or that they're based on. And uh, first of all, I've gone through a ton of RVs, and so I've seen a lot, I've observed a lot. Uh, secondly, I've done a lot of research on RVs uh, online. It, you know, it's amazing how much research you actually have to do for a website and a YouTube channel, and believe it or not, even for being an RV inspector before you go inspect a, a particular RV. And then, uh, finally, I get to talk to a lot of people who are RV owners, and they give you invaluable opinions and ideas and tell you experiences and so on. So my opinions have kind of been formulated on all of these uh, particular points of information. Now, having said that, let's talk about the list that I'm going to go into so that you'll un understand what I'm really trying to accomplish with this list. And the first thing is that I just don't believe you can fairly compare a manufacturer or a brand that is targeting higher uh, cost customers with those that are targeting uh, entry-level buyers. You just can't compare those two products. And the reason for that is pretty simple. You know, we all know you kind of get what you pay for. Uh, so if you're paying more money, you should expect to be getting uh, better quality materials, better fit and finish, better customer service, all of those kinds of things. And so what that means simply is this. If you pay about $75,000 for a Class C, do not feel that you can fairly compare that with one that usually costs three to four times that amount. It's just not a fair comparison. So with that in mind, um, I felt that the better way to do this comparison of uh, brands or manufacturers is to compare them according to the target uh, population that they're trying to sell to. And so we're going to have a higher cost uh, group of manufacturers that uh, I feel are quality manufacturers and brands. We'll have a mid-range and then we'll have a lower cost or entry level. And that way it's a little more fair in making this list up. Now the next thing I want to mention is we're not just going to do this for you new uh, RV buyers and tell you, okay, well this is the uh, high quality brands for today. We're going to try to help you use buyers out too because um, you need a little bit of guidance as well on 
the brands that seem to put out the best quality. So we're going to compare uh, new brands today with 10 years ago. I mean, we could do it year by year, but this would be a really long video. We don't want to do that. We'll give you an overview between uh, now and 10 years ago, and, and that should give you a pretty good uh, piece of guidance. And finally, in this uh, list, we're going to include Super C's and C's. Um, it's kind of important to do that. You'll see more as I go along why we need to include them today. All right, with all that said, it's time to get into the list. And so if we were looking at a Class C 10 years ago, what were the best manufacturers or the best quality? Well, if you're going to buy a higher end Class C, uh, the first one on my list would be Dynamax. Dynamax is a great uh, manufacturer and uh, they make some very unique products to have for some time. So we got to have them on the list. Next would be a company called Born Free. Now you may not have even heard of that uh, manufacturer because the sad truth is that by now it appears that they may have even gone out of business. But back 10 years and more ago, it was a very good company building quality Class C RVs. Then another one that I can include in this particular category, the higher end, is a Canadian company called Triple E. They've been building RVs for a long time, very strong in Class C's and Class B's. So back 10 years ago, if you could, if you could find a 10-year-old Triple E Class C and it's in really good shape, then it may be a very good unit for you to consider. In the mid-range, well, Jayco is a very good company, very good manufacturer, generally speaking. We cannot even begin to have a Class C discussion without <laughs> including Winnebago. Uh, I mean, you know, when you, most people think Winnebago, I think in their minds it, it sort of the picture comes up of a Class C because we've seen so many Class C Winnebagos over the years out there on the road. So yes, they are a great manufacturer. They're known for quality, generally speaking, across the years. And finally, in the mid-range uh, 10 years ago, we don't want to forget a company called Lazy Days. Now, Lazy Days is very unique. They're a smaller company. They don't even want to build in big volume. Their viewpoint is, we're going to build only the number of coaches we feel we can build with good quality, high quality in them. And that's what they do. So they're a little bit harder to come by, uh, you know, Lazy Days Class C's. But if you do, it could be something worth looking into closely. And finally, on the low end from 10 years ago, we're going to give a nod toward Coachman and Georgie Boy. So those are good considerations brand-wise for entry-level Class C's from 10 years ago. Now let's bring it all forward to today. And things have changed in the Class C market. And you know, the big th change is Super C's. And Super C's are bigger, they've got more room, they've got more power. Uh, so that has kind of taken over the, the buying market these days. So if we're looking for the higher end brands and manufacturers for Class C these days, almost all of them are really heavily into Super C's. Number one we'd have to say is Renegade, very good company, putting out very good products. Nexus is another one on the list. Uh, again, focusing a lot on Super C's. Dynamax is right in there. Dynamax is just, you know, again, built very quality units for many, many years. And these days, Integra can be considered in that list as well. All of these higher um, cost manufacturers that I'm recommending here have Super C's in their lineup. Now, in the mid-range uh, cost for today, modern uh, Class C motorhomes. Uh, we got to include Winnebago again. Once again, Winnebago, you know, over many, many years, they have continued to keep quality uh, in their brand, and that's very good. 
lazy days, again, small company, fine RVs. So we got to put them in the list. And Jayco appears again. And Jayco has uh, also Super C's in their lineup as well. But they, they also build other Class C's too. And then on the lower uh, cost units, uh, the entry level, once again, uh, I'm going to say Coachman. But this time I'm going to throw in Thor along with that. Now, you know, I, I get these comments from folks uh, when I mention the lower uh, cost um, strata of these brands and manufacturers that I recommend. And they go, how can you say that? You know, that their quality. Again, the point I'm making is this. We're comparing these brands with other brands in their price range. We're not comparing them with ones that are in the mid-range or in the high end. It's just not fair to do that. And there are plenty of RV buyers, Class C buyers out there that aren't just buying higher cost or mid-range. They're looking for a lower cost option. So that's what I'm hoping that I can provide for you. Well, now let's go back to a very good point. I want to make it again. This is just my opinion. It, it doesn't mean it's set in stone. Uh, it's all this whole subject is very subjective. Um, it's something that you can have your own opinions about and others can have theirs as well. But this is just my list based on what I have seen and learned myself. And it's just for informational purposes. Um, also want to mention that if an RV is uh, 10 years old or older or approaching 10 years, well, you know, the brand may not actually be the most important thing to consider at that point. Uh, yes, it is a consideration still because quality, you know, certainly lasts. However, what often becomes more important as we go on is how the RV was maintained over those years of ownership. What did the owner or owners do to keep it in good shape? So bear that in mind, you know, that's... Uh, it's not all about brands. It's also about how well they have been maintained. And finally, I want to mention this. When it, we're talking about new RVs, you know, I gave you the list of new RV manufacturers I feel do well in the Class C category. Let me say this. Um, there is a real quality control issue in the RV industry. And what that means is that these manufacturers, many of them are just turning out RVs like crazy, but they're not, in, you know, instituting the quality control practices that make sure that those units go out in, in really good shape. So here's what happens. Uh, the dealer receives, you know, this Class C RV. Uh, they're, you know, they're not really into spending tons of time going through every one that comes in. So they'll wait till they sell it. You will buy that Class C RV, and then you'll take it out, and you're so excited on your first trip out there, and then, oh, wait a minute, we just got this problem, and that one, and this one over here. So when you come back from your first trip, you bring it back to the dealer, and you go, hey, it's got this problem, that problem. The dealer says, don't worry about it, no problem. We'll fix it under warranty. All you have to do is leave it with us for about uh, two to four weeks because we've got a lot of repair work, we've got tons of uh, other uh, warranty work we've got to do and so on. So you, now you can't just take that new RV back out again, you got to wait till it's done. Well, it's finally done, you get it back, you go back out and enjoy another trip and you find, oh wait a minute, now this is not right and that's not right and this isn't. You go back and you go through the same process again with the dealer. And this repeats itself very often with many buyers in the new market uh, over the course of the first year of ownership. Now sure enough, the brands usually stand behind all these quality control issues but you don't get the RV you paid for until about a year down the line. And that's not good. This is not a, a, a great statement about the way things are being done right now in the RV industry by many manufacturers. And it's not all of them. But the reason I'm bringing this up is this. If you go buy an RV from the list of brands that I gave you that are new, 
and you uh, buy it and then realize you're going through this same situation that I just described, well, you're not alone. Uh, this is happening in many of the brands. And I wish it was different, but it isn't. It doesn't mean they're not building quality units. It doesn't mean you're not going to get uh, you know, the quality RV that you want. It just means quality control at the factory is not what it should be. So many buyers are turning to actually hiring us RV inspectors to go in and go through these new RVs before they actually take uh, possession of them. And can you believe that? I mean, uh, RV inspectors having to inspect new RVs. I get requests for it all the time. And uh, so we do. And the advantage of having an RV inspector do that is because we find all those issues. We find them all at once, usually. So we give you the list, you give the dealer the list, he fixes it under warranty right then, and you get the RV that you want from day one. So that's, that's, you know, seems to be what's working well. But um, I'm, it's a little warning about do not feel that if you're going to buy from a quality manufacturer or brand on the new market, don't be surprised that uh, you don't go through this process uh, that I just described. Now, hopefully the list that I gave you has been helpful. Hopefully the things we've talked about has been helpful. And so, before you go out and buy that next uh, RV, if it's a Class C, I hope that what I've shared with you has given you something to think about, something to consider, and to add in with all the things that you're learning, and that way you can make a very good buying decision for your Class C RV. Well, that's it for now. Have safe and happy travels, my friends. Until next time. Mm -hmm.